Latest news from Russian military. The Russian Air Force has begun receiving the first squadrons of the new fighter class in seven years, with the Su-30 SM-2 aircraft starting to enter service in the Navy and being ordered for the Air Force. This fighter's a modernization of the Su-30 SM which has entered service in sizable numbers since the early 2010s and currently forms the backbone of the Russian fighter fleet with an estimated 130 Su-30 SM-2 currently in service, more than 80% of which are on duty in the Russian Air Force. The Su-30 SM is a significant modernization of the Su-30 design which first began serial production in the 1990s but was only used by export clients until the 2010s due to financing circumstances in the Russian military. The aircraft is derived from the Su-30 MKI developed for the Indian Air Force, which combines the basic design of the Su-30 with features from the Su-35 program for superior air-to-air -air combat performance. It includes a thrust vector engine for increased maneuverability. The Su-30 SM-2 improves on this by integrating the AL-41 F-1S engine, the same as that used by the Su-35S, which provides 16% more thrust for significantly better flight performance as well as greater fuel efficiency for longer flights tall. The Su-30 SM-2 survivability also integrates a new radar, the Iribus Su-35 reports, although some sources have indicated that it relies on the less capable N011M bars R which is cheaper. The superiority of the Su-30 SM-2 radar N035 Ibris E which is capable of detecting a 3-meter raise to the power of two RCS fighter aircraft as far as 400 kilometers in a head-to-head -head state. Equipped with IF Type 4283 which is placed on each wing. Using the RWR Type L150-35 which is able to search for a wider opponent's radar emission frequency. The Su-30 SM-2 fighter also uses the IKSH-1M head-up display. The Su-30 derives from the Su-27 flanker heavyweight air superiority aircraft that first joined the Soviet Air Force in 1985, and inherits but significantly increases the aircraft's extremely long-range and high maneuverability. Its durability and maneuverability surpass that of any Western fighter aircraft, and for the SMSM-2 variant, its 400 km air-to-air -air strike range is double or more than most capable Western aircraft. The Su-30 SM-2 fighter received an improved optical electronic targeting and navigation system, electronic countermeasures, radar control system with increased detection range of enemy targets. The range of second-hand air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles has also been expanded. The Su-30 SM may second be the last new derivative of the Russian military field flanker design as it switches to a new generation design based on the Su-57 Falun aircraft and possibly a lighter aircraft based on the S-75 Checkmate program. The aircraft is expected to be fielded in large numbers with all of the Su-30 SM fighters reportedly expected to be modernized to the standard and a few dozen more built as the Su-30 SM-2. The newly built airframe is expected to replace the aging Su-27 flanker in the Russian Air Force and the Su-24M fighter in the Navy. The first Su-30 SM-2 squadron will reportedly be deployed to Kaliningrad, a small enclave surrounded by NATO member states in the Baltic Sea, with this highly sensitive location demonstrating great confidence in the new design.